Hello guys, welcome back to an FTN Spot. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you how to fix MSI laptop stuck in BIOS loop. So if you're interested, let's get started. So if you're having problems with your MSI laptop here and it's stuck on that BIOS, uh, BIOS uh, startup, well, in this case, there are going to be a few things that you need to know and you need to understand here. Now, usually, if you do see the uh, BIOS pop up here that says insert a boot device in order for you to use your Windows, then most likely the issue itself is from whatever SSD you have it you have currently installed. Now, for example, if you have a new laptop and you've added another SSD on it and you've transferred all the files on it, then most likely that's the problem here. Sometimes the SSD itself might be broken. So in this case, your MSI can actually can't actually detect it, or in this case, your, your files may be uh, corrupted. It's not seeing any bootable device on it, or it's not seeing your SSD here, which in this case, again, that's the problem. Now, what you could do here is you maybe want to uh, consult a technician or if you can actually do this yourself, you could go ahead and maybe try removing it and maybe plugging it in another slot in your laptop. Now, usually uh, a laptop or MSI laptop would have like an additional um, uh, a slot for your SSD. So you could try the other slot and see if that actually solves your issue. But if not, if your SSD is the one broken here, then most likely you need to buy a new SSD, but it's best to con uh, confirm or... um contact a technician first in order for you to just make sure that the SSD is not a problem itself. But if the SSD is not a problem here and it's just your settings for your MSI laptop, there are going to be a few things that you could try. Now this is directly from MSI, so their support page here. So what you could do is you could actually go to your actual BIOS and from then on you could go ahead and access your uh, boot uh, settings here. So in this case, you want to go to your settings and your BIOS, by the way, and you want to go to system status and just confirm that your boot, survi uh, boot device has been uh, are being detected. So that's what I'm saying before. Make sure it's being detected. But if it, if you're able to detect it, then most likely you can solve this for, uh, via a few things. But yeah, in this case, you want to go ahead and go to your boot settings. So again, you want to go ahead and go to boot and just uh, click on the boot select mode select here. Now there are a few things that you need to know. So you could select legacy and UFI if you're getting uh, use, using Windows 7, but most likely you're using Windows 8 or 10 at this point, or even 11. So if that's the case, you could either select legacy UFI if you're using, using Windows 8, but if you're using Windows 10, then you wanna use uh, UEFI here as your boot, uh, boot uh, mode here. But yeah, also make sure in your boot order here, you have the, your SSD as the priority one here or whatever device you're using as the boot just to make sure that you're getting the correct uh, boot order here. Sometimes it's going to have some problems, but most likely this will solve it itself once you've set the settings here correctly. But in this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.